Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making an on-the-go um, acrylic, or not acrylic, watercolor set. Now, I do have a Midori's Traveler's Notebook, and I... It kind of stores everything in it. I store, like, my just my journaling, my planning, my, like, thoughts, literally everything. It's in there, just, like, random lists and whatnot. So, I decided to also add a watercolor section. Um, I took... A college art class in high school um, because I was I'd taken all of the art classes that my high school offered so they um, so graciously offered me the chance to take a um, college art class so I did that for two years and I kind of fell out of it towards um, the end of it because I ended up getting married in high school and I moved away and I never finished the class and so uh, basically I just um, just haven't been being as artistic as I would have liked to been, be, so anyway, I'm just going to be making this on-the-go watercolor set so that um, no matter where I'm at, I can um, kind of pull it out and play with it in my traveler's notebook a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what you need to make one of these if you are interested in that, and um, which if you clicked on this video, I assume you are. So, and these are just very cheap products. Like my total came out to uh, like eleven dollars and change, and I bought these three things. This was five ninety nine, and it is just um, watercolor paint tubes. And then I bought this little case. They have tons of different options for cases. I liked this one um, because it was thin. So, and this one was five ninety nine, and then. These um, watercolor brushes or multi-purpose brushes are um, $4.99, but I had a 30% off your entire purchase, so that is what I used. So anyway, um, you can find these in the jewelry making section of Michaels. So and I went ahead and took off the tag already, and you just pull down the, the side, and it has all these little um, things in them that you can take out or put in. Or move them around however you want and it came with some extras to put them in um, if you want more colors now the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put color in each side and then my brushes in the middle and then I will just when I close it up I'll just lay a paper towel on it and close it and I don't need watercolor paper in here because I'm doing it in my travelers notebook so I don't really need to carry them in here so first of all um, this paint set comes with 12 paints in it. Um, this is obviously the cheaper one because it was $5.99. They have more expensive ones with better quality paints, but to be honest, I'm not really worried about the quality of paint because I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this, if I'll be sticking to it or not. Um, if I end up not using this very much, then I will, or if I end up using this a lot, then I will just go back and get the better kind of paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this package up and kind of rummage through and find the paints that I want the paints that I want so I have eight different colors I can choose from so let's kind of see what we got here Okay, I may end up changing my mind. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna ditch the cobalt blue and bring in a brown because this is a Persian blue and I can always light it up a little bit if I need to. So, first thing I'm going to do is um, these seem pretty airtight, like it's not going to run if they get wet, so I'm just going to line these up the way that I want them, just so that I put them in the right way, and I'm going to go ahead and just fill them up.
Okay, next I'm going to just let these dry and I actually decided I am going to go ahead and block off this little, this little small section over here and put white over here and then I will just have my brushes this long instead of the whole length. And if you wanted to, you could cut off another section and make your brushes just um, that size. Okay, these are going to need some time to dry. I would let them dry um, a few hours just to make sure that they are completely dry and they will um, reactivate with water. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and measure out the section to see how long um, my paint brushes can be. And my paint brushes can be a maximum of four and a half inches. It's not going to dry like that. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside for it to dry and pick out some paint brushes that I want to use. You can pick as many as you want as long as they will fit. And I'm going to pick. those five and I'm going to take my sharpie marker and measure out four and a half inches on each one of these and just mark where they will need cut Okay, so basically how I cut these down was I just took my scissors and I just sawed, which granted it might like ruin your scissors, but I'm really not concerned. <laughs> um, I just kind of like sawed on them to break, to get like a little nicks in them and then I just snapped them in half. And now I'm going to ask my husband to bring in um, sandpaper when he comes in from the garage and I'm just going to flatten them out. So, um, so this is what they look like. They're cute and small. Okay, and now they will, so now they will just fit right in here like this, and I will have my little um, acrylic, or my little watercolor, I keep saying acrylic because in high school I mainly did acrylic, I didn't do so much watercolor, so I'm really excited to um, be really working with it now. So um, once these dry, they will um, be great to just travel with me. So the only thing I don't like about this case is this little tab, but it looks like it will come off pretty easily with some um, maneuvering. Maybe I can just uh, cut it off, but um, I'm also not very fond of this little um, clip here. Now, it's okay and it'll do the job, but if I up ever upgrade, I'm probably going to find one with a much easier snap on it. This one's kind of harder to open and close. So my little acrylics are just drying right now. Um, if I get carried away sometime, I might add um, a few more colors in here on the other side with the chance of them um, blending together at some point. So anyway, this is the watercolor set, I really like the, any kind of blending you want to do, you can do on this side and they will just dry like that. You can wipe them right off. It's not, not a big deal either way. So, and if you wanted to, you could put your paper towel and probably a few pieces of paper on top. Yeah, it looks like there would be room for some paper on top too. So, this is my little watercolor set. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and I will talk to you all later. Bye!